Hey, 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 do you know what time it is? It is your Windsor SS County Weekly Real Estate Market Recap. In this week's episode, I'm going to share with you the real estate stats so far for the month of April in Windsor SS County. Stick around to the end to find out about the Bank of Canada's latest announcement, what it means to you, and what to expect if you're thinking of making a move in Windsor SS County. My name is Chris Ramatar. I'm a local realtor serving so Windsor SS County. Each week, we bring you the latest real estate market data for Windsor SS County. If you're thinking about making a move in Windsor SS County, our team will absolutely love to help you with your move. Please send us a message and we'll get in touch with you. Here are the numbers. We had 437 homes were listed on MLS, 174 homes were sold in the same time frame, 17 homes became expired listings, 124 homes became canceled listings. Average sale price is almost $583,000. Median sale price is $529,000. Every day to sell a home is 24 days. If you're finding value, give us a like. It really makes a huge difference for us. Condo data as follows. We had 49 condos were listed on MLS. Eight condos sold in the same time frame. Zero expired listings. 23 cancel listings. Average sale price is almost $383,000. Median sale price is just over $382,000. Average day to sell a condo is 53 days. This week, the Bank of Canada kept the interest rate on hold at 5%. This means that the cost of borrowing money will stay expensive for a bit. The bank is waiting to see if inflation, the rising cost of things that you buy, keeps going down. Inflation is still high, but some signs are showing positive. The Bank of Canada want to make sure these indicators stay on a long-term basis before lowering interest rate, which would make borrowing cheaper for you, the consumer. There's a strong possibility that we will see a rate cut by the Bank of Canada when it meets in June. The bank expects inflation to get closer to normal, which is 2% this year, and reach that level in 2025. They are also predicting a strong economic growth in those years. If there's a rate cut in June, this is what I expect will happen. A lot of buyers who have been undecided and sitting on the sideline and waiting for the interest rate cut would get into the market. This will add more competition among buyers, which in turn will drive prices up we are already experiencing this at the moment my advice to you is don't wait go and talk to your mortgage professional so you could get a head start and for those of you who are thinking of selling your home or condo here's what will happen we are already seeing a lot of competition at the moment especially for good quality turnkey moving ready home that are in great or good location and as always make sure you have a plan in place before planning to sell your home or condo do your homework Make sure your finances are in order. Make sure your number makes sense to you and your family. And by moving, will it make your lives better? If yes, then I would say go for it. But only if it makes sense for you and your family. Hire a good agent. Make sure your home shows well, is marketed well. Be patient. Be realistic with your price and terms. And the chances are you'll get a offer that you will most likely like with the terms, price, that you will be happy with. Leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts about our local real estate market. If you'd like for us to help you anyway, please contact us. We'd love to know about your goals and how we can help you. Take care, stay safe, have a great week, have a great day, have a great weekend. Talk to you soon, bye now.